Why do celebrities invest in franchises and which ones are they investing in? You got people like Venus Williams, Drew Brees, Rick Ross, Shaq, and more, all investing in franchises. Now, it's no secret that many celebrities tend to turn to the world of business as a way to continue to grow and expand their wealth and their influence. Now, while most celebrities attempt to start their own brands, such as clothing lines and skincare products or fragrances, many still turn to owning franchises as their primary business ventures. Why? I'm gonna explain exactly that in this video. I think you'll find it surprising. I dug deep and found out how much some of these franchises are making and you're gonna be shocked at the numbers that some of these franchises are generating. So are celebrities really seeing that much return on investment in the franchise industry? Well, let's first look at what is getting them into the franchise deals in the first place. All right, so the benefit of investing in a franchise is that it allows the franchise businesses to continue to grow while also allowing people like you and I the opportunity to run their own business with the support of an established company and a proven formula for success behind them. I often call franchising a business in a box. You buy into a proven model that typically has everything you need to get started. So many celebrities turn to franchises to take advantage of the brand name power and the brand name support that comes with it. Keep in mind that fast food franchises already have their set menus in place, their target customer base and management structure. So there's very little guesswork involved when first starting out. And this usually works out great for both the company and the celebrity. Many times these franchises are already looking for some sort of celebrity endorsement that they can use to help market and pr promote their products and services. And the celebrities are able to rack up a generous passive income simply by owning multiple locations of their favorite fast food joints. Now, I would imagine the celebrities are likely getting a pretty sweet deal and probably a reduction in royalties and possibly not paying any franchise fees or something. Okay, so you may be wondering, well, which celebrities are taking advantage of these franchise deals right now? How many do they own? And how much money are they making? Here are the top seven celebrities taking advantage of franchises right now. All right, so number one is Chris Brown with Burger King. R&B singer Chris Brown is rumored to currently own more than 14 Burger King franchises. Now, while 14 locations may not seem like a high number, it's certainly no small feat for a big time celebrity like Chris Brown. Considering Burger King franchises must have over $500,000 in liquid assets and a net worth of over $1.5 million, we can assume Chris Brown does quite well off his Burger King investment. Consider this, each Burger King ranges from $1.7 million to $4.1 million to get open. Wow, that's no small chump of change. And the average Burger King location generates between $1.3 and $1.5 million a year in sales. If we used a 15% profit margin, that would be about $200,000 in profit per location. And with 14 locations, that would generate about $2.8 million a year in profits. Not bad for a passive investment for Mr. Chris Brown. However, this 14 location investment is likely as close as he will ever get to the doors of a Burger King, as he claims that he actually doesn't eat any pork or any beef. All right, number two, good old Rick Ross. Every day I'm hustling. All right, so in case you aren't familiar, Rick Ross had quite the love affair with Wingstop for some time. In fact, the iconic lemon pepper wings even show up in the lyrics of multiple songs of his. Get this, he owns more than 25 franchise locations of Wingstops across the US and even the UK. According to public franchise records, each Wingstop is between $315,000 and $948,000 to get open. And then get this, the average Wingstop store generates $1.4 million in sales, with the top store doing over $4.6 million a year in sales. And again, even at a very realistic 15% profit margin on the average location, you're looking at over $200,000 a year in potential profits per location. Given that good old Rick Ross owns over 25 of them, I think we can safely assume he's generating millions of dollars of profits from his Wingstop franchise partnerships. Hey, so if you like the video so far and enjoy learning about how to make money with franchising, I invite you to subscribe below and hit the like button. This way YouTube's algorithm shows this video to more and more people. 
And look, you know the drill. Every YouTuber says the same stuff. All right, number three, Venus Williams and Jamba Juice. So Venus Williams, professional tennis player, quickly fell in love with the Jamba Juice franchise when she was looking for healthier fast food options on the road. Now the pro tennis player lives with an autoimmune disease that led her to adopt a completely vegan diet, making Jamba Juice the perfect option for on the go and travel. Now, since falling in love with the franchise, she's invested in now four franchise locations across the Washington, D.C. area. Now, the average Jamba Juice location does about $750,000 in sales, with the highest performing location doing over $2.1 million in sales. Now, again, let's be conservative and estimate a 15% profit margin on those fours doing $750,000. That's $112,500 in profit per store for a total of $450,000 a year in profits. All right, now let's be real. $450,000 is probably a drop in the bucket for Venus Williams. Given that her prize money alone in her career has been over $50 million. But for people like you and me, owning four Jamba Juices and making $450,000 in profit is a very attainable goal. So with that said, if you've ever thought about owning a franchise, Make sure to go grab my free guide called Zero to Profitable Franchise in 12 months or less. It'll teach you everything you know, need to know to start from zero and then making money owning a franchise. The link is in the description below. All right, next up is Peyton Manning. Former NFL quarterback Peyton Manning owned 31 Papa John's franchise locations from 2012 to 2018. Now, he was often involved with the franchises he owned. For example, when he was playing for the Broncos, he would offer discounts on pizza when his team won. He was also known to make personal pizza deliveries every now and then and surprise fans with their pizza deliveries. Now, talk about being involved. Now, granted, he was getting a nice paycheck for doing that, I'm sure. Now, Peyton Manning has since sold the majority of his franchise ownership, but has stayed on with Papa John's as a brand ambassador and celebrity endorser. The average corporate-owned Papa John's location does about $1.3 million in sales, with the average franchise location doing just over $1.1 million in sales, and the top-performing Papa John's franchise did over $3.1 million in sales in 2021. Now, using that same 15% profit margin, those 31 stores at one point were making Peyton over $4.5 million a year in profits, assuming that he owned them all by himself. Now, next up is good old Shaq. Now, NBA superstar Shaquille O'Neal has been referred to as the king of franchises for a good reason. Shaq has invested in multiple franchises, including over 155 guys, 17 Auntie Anne's, 40 24-hour fitness locations, nine Papa John's, and one Krispy Kreme. At one point, he actually owned 10% of all the five guy franchises that were open. Now, it's important to note here that Shaq actually makes more money now than he did when he was playing in the NBA as a professional athlete, and he currently has a net worth of over $400 million. He's even developed a company that helps him manage and expand his franchise empire called Shaquille O'Meals. Given that Shaq owned so many franchises, I'm not gonna go over any of the financials. I think we can safely assume that Shaq makes a lot from his franchise empire. And in 2018, he partnered with some big companies and started his own franchise brand called Big Chicken, which has been gaining a lot of traction and opening up all over the US. Next up, we have Drew Brees. Now, ever since he was a college student at Purdue, Drew Brees frequently visited Jimmy John's as his number one lunch spot. And according to the Franchise Times, the Super Bowl winning NFL quarterback now owns over five franchises in his home state of Louisiana and plans to own 20 more. Now, many have reported that Drew Brees will often visit his Jimmy John locations to grab a bite and take a pictures with his staff and fans. Now, in 2021, the average sales of a Jimmy John's location was over $850,000, skyrocketing from 2020's average of $671,000. Last but not least is Phil Mickelson. PGA pro golfer Phil Mickelson is quite an avid fan of Five Guys Burgers. In fact, he loves his franchise so much, he's even been known to grab a burger for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, even several days in a row. Buying into the franchise was a no-brainer for him. Phil Mickelson currently owns several Five Guys locations across Orange County, California. I wonder if him and uh, Shaq were 
going out grabbing burgers together. All right, so in conclusion, for celebrities who don't have the time or energy to invest in their own business, buying into a franchise can be a great way to build a passive income and overall net worth, especially as their careers are transitioning. Whether they are an avid lover of the brand or believe in the values of the franchise, celebrities can offer the power of their name for advertising, marketing, while franchises can offer a fail-proof business know-how. So make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more secret and unusual franchise knowledge and tips. Also comment down below any thoughts you have on celebrities owning franchises and building empires from that. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.